Hi guys. Quick question. Are you experiencing under extruding issues, clogs or leaks with your hot ends? If your answer is yes, then this video is for you. If your answer is no, take a look at this anyway because it might be handy sometime in the future. The hot end assembly is one of the steps in do-it-yourself 3D printers that are often not correctly done, especially with heat breaks that carry PTFE tube inside. But even if you get an already built printer, this is something that you should always check. In this video, I will be using a TiVo Michelangelo 3D printer and we will disassemble the hot end and troubleshoot a clogged hot end. Start with a cold hot end and remove the four front screws. Remove the zip tie that is securing the cables. Next, heat up the nozzle above 150 degrees C. Get a wrench tool and a tube tool to remove the nozzle. Be careful with the wrench not to damage the heater and the temperature sensor. Once you remove the nozzle, turn the temperature down. Next, remove the PTFE tube at the extruder side. If you have a Titan extruder, you will need to remove it and open it so you can release the PTFE tube. Let the hot end cool down and then remove it. And screw the heatsink from the heat block. Now inspect the assembly. This is the number one reason for leaks and clogs. The PTFE tube is not inserted all the way down to the nozzle. The gap between the tube and the nozzle will create clogs and leaks. Now, let's fix it. Remove the PTFE tube. Make sure that the end of the tube is cut correctly. My advice, make a new cut. It must be a square and clean cut. Install the PTFE tube again and make sure it goes all the way to the edge of the heat brick. Also confirm that even with the play from the pneumatic fitting, the tube stays like this. To check, pull out the tube a little bit without pressing the fitting ring. The tube cannot move in. Install the heatsink back to the heat block. Get a good nozzle and screw it in. Check if the nozzle goes all the way in until it touches the heat block. If that is true, then it's not okay. So unscrew the nozzle and give one more turn to the heat sink. The correct way is to have the nozzle tighten against the heat brake and not the heat block. By doing this, you are making sure that you get no gap between the nozzle and the heat brake. Install back the hot end.
Heat up the nozzle again above 150 degrees C. Then carefully tighten the nozzle. Install back the fans and fan ducts. Install the PTFE tube back to the extruder. For the Titan extruder, assemble it back and install it. Push it all the way in. Get a new zip tie and secure those cables. Home the printer and recheck the leveling and your bed to nozzle distance. And it's all done. Your hot end is correctly assembled and ready to print. And that's it you guys, hope you liked the video, as always if you have any questions let me know. You can use my Rui Raptor Facebook page to contact me and to check all the news and extra stuff related with 3D printing. Also feel free to follow me here on YouTube. And if you like my work and wish to help, you can with Patreon. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.